this new Trump administration. God only knows what is going to happen with Musk involved and Vivek Ramaswamy and J.D. Vance and and Mehmet Oz and RFK. I mean, you're a fool if you're if you're going to predict the outcome of that. What drives figures like Musk, Ramaswamy, and RFK Jr. to join Trump's bold administration? Jordan Peterson unpacks this unprecedented moment where brilliant minds abandon their comfort zones to tackle America's immense challenges and opportunities. With Trump embracing collaboration and sharing the stage with these formidable individuals, Peterson likens this political movement to a grand literary adventure, one that could redefine the future. Well, I think what's happened fundamentally is that these remarkable people that have aggregated themselves around Trump understand very thoroughly that we're in a time of unprecedented rate of change. And I think that's pretty obvious to everyone. And that there are immense opportunities awaiting us and immense perils. And they're sufficiently concerned about the perils and sufficiently compelled by the opportunities to stake themselves politically and to take the risk of doing so. You know, people like Musk in particular, but Ramaswamy's in the same boat, essentially. These aren't people, and, and many of the other people around Trump, these aren't people who need the political power. Right. They already have lives. They they're already have immense influence. I mean, for Musk to involve himself in the Department of Governmental Efficiency is obviously something that's taking him away from many other things that he's highly concerned about. But he obviously believes that the time demands that kind of response. And I think he's right. And, you know, more power to them. I'm strapped in for the ride as far as I'm concerned. I thought that what happened around Trump in the last two months of the election was absolutely remarkable that mm. these people aggregated themselves around him and were in for unprecedented times. And like the Americans are remarkable people and you, you're you always a fool to bet against them. And I think I think we have a good chance of seeing a revival of the American spirit that is unprecedented in our times. That That's my, my situation too. And I feel the same way about RFK. I mean, he's also a preposterous person. You know, he's bigger than life. He's full of remarkable and crazy ideas. And I'm fascinated to see what he might put in place. And I would say the same thing about Ramaswamy. Like mm. Ramaswamy's establishment of the Strive Fund was brilliant and daring. And we have brilliant and daring people in government and that doesn't ever happen. And God only knows, what, I don't even know if it's a good thing under normal circumstances. Cause I think under normal circumstances, you want competent administrators running your nation, but we're not in normal times, far from it. And so I'm, like I said, strapped in waiting exactly as you pointed out, yeah. waiting for the adventure of this administration. Yeah, and everyone's I mean, sitting there thinking, oh my God, what's going to happen next? Yeah. And you know what's so cool to see with Trump is that he's accepted that. He's, he's proved himself willing to share the stage with all of these other remarkable people. Mm -hmm. And even in some ways, I wouldn't say to fade into the background because Trump isn't exactly your fade into the background sort of guy. But, mm -hmm. you know, the fact that he's invited so willingly these other participants, all of whom are high status people around him, also, to me, put to rest any concerns I had about any pathological narcissism on his part. I mean, obviously Trump, Trump is a very effective self-promoter and there's something in that that's a real skill. But by the same token, you know, he's, he has RFK, he, who's a force in his own right. Mm. He has Musk, Ramaswamy, yeah. Vance. These are like, these are formidable people. Yeah. Tulsi Gabbard as well. He, that's not the sort of person you surround yourself with if you're a toxic narcissist. Yeah. That's someone, those are the people you surround yourself with if you're out on a quest. Yeah. And it's so cool to see this. It's so literary. It's absurd. And I also, you pointed out in the, with, with regards to this book, um, that, that one of the definitions of God in the biblical library in the story of Abraham in particular, is that God is in fact the voice of adventure. I mean, whenever people are discussing religious matters, one of the first questions that arises obviously is, well, what 
What exactly is it that you're speaking of? What's your conceptualization of God? What constitutes the divine? And you could say the divine is the pinnacle of ambition or the foundation of reality. Those are both good ways of looking at it. And one of the answers in the biblical text is that God is the call to adventure. And that's definitely the case in the story of Abraham. And the idea there, which is an unbelievably deep idea and also one that works biologically, is that the full expression of the spirit that takes you beyond your zone of comfort and out into the terrible world is the same spirit that makes your life a blessing to you, that makes your name renowned among other people and for good reason, that helps you establish something of lasting value and that does that in a way that brings benefit to everyone. And that's actually the deal that God offers Abraham in response to his willingness to embark on a life of adventure. And I think all of that's true. I mean, one of the rules I had with this book, Pierce, was that I tried not to offer any explanations of the biblical text that weren't also fully justifiable from a scientific perspective. Mm -hmm. And usually from multiple different uh, orientation places on the scientific side. And so why wouldn't the spirit of adventure take us out into the world in the most glorious possible manner? Like what the hell else would it possibly be for? Peterson sees this coalition as a testament to the power of ambition and the call to adventure. In uncertain times, these leaders represent hope and daring, embodying the spirit needed to confront a rapidly changing world. As history unfolds, this administration may become a landmark moment in America's journey, a bold leap into the unknown with immense stakes and rewards.